This is Guafu village, Mianzi sub-county, deep in the rural district of Mobende. We visited this home which appeared deserted. But when we went to the backyard, we found this female teenager lying on a dirty mat in the company of her siblings. 19-year-old Aviana Kankwasa Tuhairi has lived like this all her life. She cannot walk. I asked her about her parents. Mama, never. She has never been to school. At Hyre says her young brother, 13 year old Brian Gumisiriza, does everything for her. But at the time we visited, Gumisiriza had gone out to work to fend for the family. At Hyre was on her own, struggling to do basic things like easing herself. When Gumisiriza returned home, he narrated the difficulties he faces daily in taking care of her elder sister's every need. He is worried he may not go find school since his sister's survival heavily leans on his young shoulders. I asked Gumisiriza how he makes money to sustain the family. He claims that his father, George Biamukama, often comes home for a few days then disappears again. The food he leaves home runs out in a short while. Gumisiriza says he loves his sister so much and that's why he does his best to ensure she is comfortable. He buys whatever she needs so long as he can afford it with the little money he earns from the many jobs he does in the village. A girl over to Harry's age undergoes menstruation every month. And Gumisiriza says this presents him a serious challenge. We managed to trace the family head, George Biamkama, and persuaded him to return home. We asked him why he was an absentee family head. He says the children's mother left, citing difficulties in looking after Tuhairi. He denied claims made by his children that he often beat them alongside their mother. Biamkam abandoned the main house and sleeps in this small house whenever he's around. We sought expert opinion about at Hyrie's condition. She has a cerebral palsy, that is a kind of disability, whereby um, mothers delay on labor when the child delays to come out. Gumisiriza just told me that he used to help his sister for two years riding her in this wheelchair, but for one year it has been down, just like you can see it. And to make matters worse, experts just told us that this was a wrong wheelchair for a high risk situation. Also, uh, wheelchairs given to the student, they first have to take their measurements and give them the correct full wheelchairs. Gumisris and his sister sent a passionate appeal to well wishers for help. But <laughs> Many children with a high risk condition are abandoned by their families, especially in rural areas, with some saying they are a bad omen. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.